going down. We're straight back up. We're going down. We're straight back up. We're going down. We're straight back up. Going down. We're straight back up. We're all going on a league one tour. League one tour. A league one tour. Right, let's go. Let's try this. Hello guys, welcome back. Now I don't know what that was. Um, yeah, in the trolley. Um, anyway, guys, back with another match day vlog. Buzzing. We got Birmingham City tomorrow. It's Friday today. I'm currently outside a shop because I'm about to do some shopping with the mum and dad. Mum and dad are back, actually back from the cruise. Do you want to say hello? Hi fans. I'm cold. How was the cruise, mum? It was fantastic. And a big shout out to Owen, who recognised us at Gatwick. So I'm now famous. <laughs> All right, anyway, guys, like I've said, Birmingham City tomorrow, biggest game of the season, okay? Now, if we lose, we're down, mathematically relegated, and things won't be good, all right? Now... Alex, they will be good. We're going to have a weekend in Blackpool next season, weekend in Scunthorpe. What could be better? All right, okay. Southend. Uh, and Southend. Now, yes, um, tomorrow I'm going to be meeting another YouTuber, Brummy Joe. Shout out to Brummy Joe. If you know him... Comment down below, he's a good guy and he's a very good YouTuber as well. Now, I'm going to make a prediction. I don't know. I think the atmosphere is going to be really good tomorrow. I think fans know we're relegated. Uh, and now, Dad. Dad yeah, is here. Hello, fans. I'm going to go for another 1-1. One, one. Right, now it's time for my prediction. Um, I'm going to say... Personally, Birmingham are in very good form. Um, I know they've had a points deduction, but they're, they've been playing very well. And they've been playing good football. I'm going to say... 2-1 to Birmingham. I think we're going to lose. I never predicted losses as well, so hopefully that could be a good omen and we win. But I'm going to say 2-1 to Birmingham. Now, that's it. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow at Portman Road. <sighs> Guys and girls, I'll see you tomorrow at Portman Road. I might actually get my grandma and granddad in the video, so who knows. But if not, we'll see you tomorrow at Portman Road for some interviews. Goodbye. Ah, right, guys, I'm back at my grandma and granddad's with my granddad. Hello. Hello, Alex. What do you think of this, boy? That was a full bottle of whiskey when I started about two hours ago. But I was drinking it, not to celebrate Ipsy's town, but to feel so sorry for him. But I'm not drunk yet. Got more to drink. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> anyway, Grandad, we've got Birmingham tomorrow. How do you think we're going to do? I think against Birmingham that'll be a draw. That seems a bit habit. And Birmingham will score in injury time at the end of the game, which is quite a habit against Dipswich, isn't it? <laughs> so you think we're going to draw one all? Uh, probably about one all, yeah. Something like that. Okay, okay. Um, nice. Are you going to have any more whiskey? <laughs> yeah, I'll have a sip now, look. Look, that's oh. lovely stuff, look. Mmm. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Grandad. Take care. Right, so I've got my Grandad's thoughts. Um, time for my grandma's. Grandma, where are oh, you? Ipswich Town is a blooming good town. <laughs> I keep trying to play this bloody thing and nothing will come. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I can play it. <laughs> come on, I'll then. Show you how to come play. on, then. Well, I can make a noise out of it. There you I don't go. Know if I can play it. Here we go. Ah, that's good, isn't that? Isn't that good? <laughs> oh, didn't you do? I think I'll go to Australia and see if I can earn some money. I, I did you, he didn't. And you did you, he do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. All right, I need to get my grandma's prediction. I can't believe my eyes. Uh, Prediction for tomorrow, Grandma. We're playing. Who, who are we playing? Because you, you're going to play that Cadbury's team, Birmingham. <laughs> Birmingham. Uh, <laughs> I do like Birmingham. Okay, your prediction. Uh, well, well, the thing is, I want Ipswich to win because your supporters must be so sad. But don't be sad because you won't be down long. If you work hard at it, you'll soon come up again. But I think Ipswich just might win 1-0. Nice. Thank you very much. Do you want to say any more words? No, I've finished for tonight. I've just got to go on that didgeridoo-don't again. <laughs> Cheers. Right, here with a familiar face, Seb. Outside Portman Road, we've got Birmingham today. What is your prediction, mate? I reckon it's going to be a 1-0 today. 1-0? Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. 
and how do you feel that today could be the day we mathematically go down? Well, it's been coming a long time. Just the fans need to get behind it and face the facts. If we go down, we go down. It's one of them things now, isn't it? We'll yeah. be all right next year. Could yeah. be worse. Yeah. It could be like Bolton. Yeah. Birmingham had a Birmingham had a point deduction the other week, um, and they're actually fine at the moment. They beat Le- they beat Leeds, drew to Sheffield United. Um, t- who, who's their threat? Do you think today? Everyone <laughs> <laughs> against us. No, I think they've, they're not a bad team. Birmingham, as they before the point deduction over there, but mid table. So they're not a bad team. So yeah, it could be anyone, anyone yeah. for them. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. last question. Norwich City top of the league. They're probably going to go up. How do you feel about that? And what do you think? Of, <laughs> what do you think of Norwich? Talk to me. <laughs> I don't think I can say what I think of Norwich, but I mean they've won nothing compared to us, have they? So they go up, they go up. Well played to them. They've been. I've got to admit, it's horrible as it is. They've been the best team in the league this year, but only time will tell what happens in the future yes come I like that yeah. cheers mate enjoy the game right I'm here with two Birmingham fans Pete and Terry how are you feeling ahead of the game today and what are your predictions well I hope we win but 2-1 to Birmingham yeah 2-0 yeah. Yeah, I think mate 2-0 to Birmingham yeah okay and obviously if we lose today we're going to get relegated how does that feel um, being Birmingham fans sending us down uh, well we don't like to send anybody down you know what I mean we don't like to get sent down so we don't want you to get down but yeah. it's the way you played this year so yeah. you know it's just unfortunate even the draw put you down today wasn't it yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. And we like coming to Ipswich so yeah. it's a yeah. bit shame yeah, yeah. yeah. No. yeah. we're a bit nervous from Birmingham because we live in Corby Northampton so it's a bit nervous for us to come <laughs> <laughs> ok one more question then who do you see as a threat on the Ipswich town team today anyone oh. well, what's Freddie what's his name he usually is but he's not playing is he <laughs> he's the only one I remember. <laughs> so I'm glad he's not playing anyway. Yeah, he always scores against us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Anyway, enjoy the game. Enjoy no, the game. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Right, I'm here with the Ipswich Town fan, Charlie. What's your prediction for today, mate? Two one to Ipswich. You feeling confident? Yes. Who's going to score our goals? Um, going to be Quainer and Edwards. Quainer and Edwards. Okay. And if we lose today, we will officially be relegated and we'll be in League One. How does that make you feel? Um, we knew we were going down anyways, but we, we, all I want to do is just um, make sure we get um, some results against the good teams. Yeah. Maybe a draw. Yeah. And what do you think the atmosphere is going to be like in there today? Really packed because it's, uh, there's loads of police and that, so it's probably going to be really good. Yeah, decent. And one more question. Who is your favourite Ipswich Town player? Gwion Edwards. Gwion Edwards. Nice. Well, enjoy the game, buddy. Okay. Cheers. Game. Right, I'm here with Bromie Joe. How you doing, mate? I'm doing all right, mate. Yeah, I feel feel good. Yeah, hopefully. Go and check out his channel. Make sure you subscribe to him. The links will be in the description. But anyway, you've got Ipswich today. What's your prediction? Um, so today, we've just come off the back of four points against uh, Leeds and Sheffield United. Four losses before that. But I always said it would be typical Blues for us to come here and lose. But I do understand that. I think if you if you draw today, then you're down. Yeah. So you guys need to attack us. So personally, I think you're gonna frustrate us for the first half of the game, mm. and then I think second half, hopefully, you know the quality of Che Adams, etc., will come through. I think we'll win one nil, maybe two yeah. nil, but I don't think it'll be easy for us yeah. today at all. No, yeah. by any means. Yeah. I've said two one to Birmingham today. I'm not feeling confident. Yeah. Um, how will it feel if you relegate us today? Well, it's ne- it's never nice because um, we've been in a lot of games recently in the past seasons where we've had to win games to stay up. Usually, been on the last day of the season, you know, survival Sunday. Um, it's it feels weird to be on the other side of it, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, I, I don't think I feel either way about it. At the end of the day, we, we do need the three points because we are we are still in the relegation battle. So it's one of them where it's you, you, we've got to go and win it. Um, and hopefully, you know, if you, if you do go down, then you have a good season yeah. next season, come back up. Yeah. But obviously, you had that nine points deduction. You were going for playoffs before then. How did it feel to get that deduction? I think, um, in all honesty, uh, we, we got off lightly with that deduction. I think we knew about it since maybe November. Yeah. So I, I think it was in the back of our minds that no matter how close we got to the playoffs, we were always going to get hit with us with, with some type of deduction. I thought it was going to be twelve points, but. Um, it was good to see us, you know, do well, and, and and thankfully, even with the the deduction, we looked like we should be staying yeah. up. Yeah. So so yeah, I I think yeah we were looking at the playoffs, but I don't yeah. think it was ever realistic. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask one more question. Earlier this season, I met Villa on tour. You know yeah. Villa on tour, yeah? yeah. I asked him the same question. Okay. okay. Um, what are your thoughts on Aston Villa? Obviously, I asked him what he thought of Birmingham. What what are your thoughts on Aston Villa? And tell me about your hatred towards them. Yeah, it's weird, Villa. It's weird, Villa. So I know a lot of Villa fans. Um, it's weird 
Like you, I think ninety percent of them you end up just hating. They've got this certain attitude about them that's just uh, they just seem very entitled because they've got a good you know they, they they've got a good history to be fair to them, but they've got a very entitled fan base now, and it's almost like you know when you look at the bigger the the you know teams that have done have been successful in the past and are struggling now. They they just sort of their fan base has less patience. I think they do have less patience. I think they've got a lot of money behind their club, so eventually they, they'll they'll go up to the Premier League. And yeah. in all honesty, I think I think both Blues and Villa should be in the Premier League. Yeah. I think they're you know it's they're, they're, they're two teams that that really should be up yeah. there, yeah. you know, along with the likes of Leeds, etc. Yeah. You know, but obviously you know we we do hate and we've got this hatred, yeah. but. It's what makes it's what makes football so exciting to have this sort of passionate rivalry. I know you've got it as well with Norwich. Yeah. You need that as well. So as much as we hate them, it is good to have them around. And hopefully yeah. they're in the same division as us next season, uh, and we can get our own back on them. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers, buddy. Right here, Ipswich Town fan Louis. What's your prediction for today, buddy? Um, I know, of course, we could get relegated on my birthday. So uh, happy, say, happy birthday. Thank you. I'll say 1-1 one, because one, I just think it's going to happen. Yeah. I do think it'll happen today. Yeah. And how are you going to feel if we get relegated today? I feel good, but I know I know it's been coming for a long time because I know I had a feeling since since I came in and it just it just really went downhill really because when I went to the West Ham friendly we looked on fire really and I thought um, since and since then it just sort of went down. It was it did start out well but yeah. it's just been downhill and since he got sacked I was. I, it was right time for him to go and we were potty lab and he, I think he's done a really good job I know yeah. he's not achieved anything but he's brought the fans back together and I thought yeah. and I think next season I think we could have a good season if like because we, we, we've, we've kept hold of Judge yeah. and if more players stay, stay like him I think we could have a good season yeah. and if we and we'll focus on our back line because Nutton's probably going to go Ken Locke's not that good and we've, we've got Emmanuel Bree's going to go back and um, Collins probably a bit too old so if we work on our back line as well make it stronger and I think we'll be alright next season yeah and is there any part of you that worries about Paul Lambert staying at the club or maybe departing the club? I oh, know. I think he'll stay. He wants to. He wants to stay at the club. He said. Um. He said he's not going to go unless um Evan sacks him. I heard he's not going to. He's not going to go. Yeah. Well, enjoy the game today, mate. Cheers, buddy. Cheers.
Right, here's two town fans after the one-all draw with Birmingham, Xavier and Ricardo. We've mathematically been relegated now. How are you boys feeling? I'm feeling sad because I don't really want to go down to League One. Yeah. Um, also sad because further away from the Premier League. Yeah. And do you think we can bounce back up next season? If Paul Lambert stays with us, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. And do you think one-all was a fair result today or do you think we deserve to win? We deserve to win, definitely. Yeah. I think I think the referee could have done better. Yeah. And I think we should have won today. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> so, guys. Um, one all draw against Birmingham. Um, I'm heartbroken. I'm sad. I haven't cried, though. <laughs> um, but it's, very emo it's been an emotional day for town fans. Uh, and I think... It's now hit me, okay? We're going to League One. It's now impossible for Ipswich to stay up. And it hurts, okay? It does hurt. But, you know, Ipswich fans are brilliant. After that game today, the atmosphere was incredible. All the town fans knew we were down. But next season in League One, we just, we've just got to give it our best shot. And hopefully we'll come back up. Now, um, yeah, I'm speechless, guys. I can't believe we're down. We put in a hell of a shift in that second half, and I'm surprised we didn't win. We we could have won that game today, but credit to Birmingham for keeping the ball out of the goal in the second half. Well, for keeping it one all actually, um, but yeah, one all was the final result. Shout out to Bromley Joe as well for getting on the video. Absolutely great guy. He's a, he's a such a genuine guy, um, and I'll. Yeah, his channel link will be in the description, but thanks again, Bromley Joe, for being in the video. Um, and when I get home today, I will be announcing my giveaway winner for the Swansea tickets, okay? So for now, let's get home, um, and I'll end the video at home. Right, guys, now at home, all the names are on here for the ticket giveaway for Swansea. Right, guys, giveaway time, okay? I'm about to announce who is the winner of my Swansea tickets. Um, my brother is going to pick a ticket to make sure... Well, in case someone accuses me of cheating or whatever. Alright, okay, whatever. Luke, pick a ticket out. Pick a name. <laughs> oh, there's loads in there. There's quite a few. Over 80 entries I had. Thank you for everyone that entered. I've got one. He's got one, right. I've got one. We're going to have a little drum roll. And the winner is... Hash Trains. Hash Trains. <laughs> Hash Trains. Hash trains. There you go, I'll show the camera. There you go, can you see it? Can you see that? Yeah. Hash trains, okay. You are the winner of the ticket giveaway. Congratulations. Um, and that was my brother that picked it out, okay. So, 
So, hash trains, you are the winner. Make sure you contact me within two days, otherwise I will be picking another winner, okay, because the Swansea game is very soon and I want to get the tickets booked. Um, so, after, once this vlog is out, I will be liking and hearting your comment um, that you put on and I will be announcing my giveaway winner for the Swansea tickets okay so for now let's get home um, and I'll end the video at home right guys now at home all the names are on here for the ticket giveaway for Swansea right guys giveaway time okay I'm about to announce who is the winner of my Swansea tickets um, my brother is gonna pick a ticket to make sure well in case someone accuses me of cheating or whatever all right Okay, whatever. Luke, pick a ticket out. Pick a name. <laughs> oh, there's loads in there. There's quite a few. Over 80 entries I had. Thank you for everyone that entered. I've got one. He's got one. Right. I've got one. We're going to have a little drum roll. And the winner is... Hash Trains. Hash Trains. <laughs> Hash Trains. Hash Trains. There you go. I'll show the camera. There you go. Can you see it? Can you see that? Yeah. Hash trains, okay? You are the winner of the 